mom turned work at home mom here and as you can tell from this box I have a Scentsy order that I'd like to share with you. A friend of mine who is also a Scentsy representative was challenged to do 50 bars in 5 days and I went ahead and helped her not only because of that but also because I wanted to actually get some more stuff for the home and she also had shared with me a, about the discount for the month of August which is most everything is 10% off. Um, so what I have here in the box I'll go ahead and pull out and show you here in just a moment. I do want to share her Sensi website with you. It's tushsheracondon.sensi.us. You spell her name T-O-S-H-E-R-R-A-C-O-N-D-O-N. Um, she has a Facebook page, and you can find that by looking up Tasha, T-O-S-H-A, Condon, C-O-N-D-O-N, Independent Sensi Representative. Um, so what I have here, uh, this little label shows what scents I ordered, the quantity and everything else like that, which is really cool. So when you look it up, it has something that you can compare it to. And because of the summer months, I'm guessing, um, Scentsy has packaged it actually in this bag here. Um, I think it's an insulated bag as far as I can tell at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and just open that for you guys here. And we'll take out the scents that I have in there and take a look at those. So I did order, like I said, 12 bars. And I got almost all different scents. Um, most of them are new. A few of them I've gotten before. And that's the other thing that I really liked is that I told Tasha that I wanted to get some that were like fruity because that's the kind of smell that I like. And um, she was nice enough to go ahead and give me some of her favorites that she likes that are also a little fruity. Um, so here is an ice pack. It's, of course, melted by now because this box has been sitting here all day in my house just so I could wait until the kids were occupied to do the video. So inflated bag is what they come in with this ice pack here. And we have two of the skinny dipping. There is a hazelnut latte and French kiss. Now these are the three scents that I've ordered before, so I knew when I got them that I was gonna like them. Um, these are all new scents here. Uh, so six, 12 bars total, and I got four bars that I've had before. So all of these are new, and these are eight of them. So we have a sticky cinnamon bun, the honeydew, Jumpin' Jelly Bean, which I know this is one of the ones that Tasha actually referred me to and said that was one of hers that she likes. The Vanilla Cream, Perfectly Pomegranate, the Happy Birthday Scent, and then we also have a Sugar Cookie. I know I like this one even though I personally haven't ordered it, only because I've actually smelled it in my mother-in-law's house. Um, there's been a few times that we've gone over and I walk in the door thinking that she just made a batch of fresh made hot, warm, out of the oven uh, chocolate chip cookies, um, you know, just because that's usually what she makes, and we walk in around the corner and her kitchen's right there, and I'm disappointed because there is no tray of cookies. <laughs> the kids also have been disappointed a couple times. But, you know, I mean, that just goes to show that this really does smell like cookies. And then um, there's a black raspberry vanilla, and I went with black raspberry vanilla. One of the reasons why is just because Bath & Body Works had a, um, I think it was a perfume or a lotion, one of the two that I've smelled before, and I was thinking this probably couldn't be too far off, so I'd be able to go ahead and put it in the house and I'd probably like it. So those are the bars that I got, because what I did is I went ahead and ordered a pack of six bars, which is normally, I believe, like $24.50 or something like that, and since it was 10% off, I think I paid like $22 or something. Um, and then the other one, is I went ahead and did a package where I got six bars and two mid-size warmers. Um, this is the first time that I've actually had mid-size warmers. Uh, we usually have, in the empty box, we usually, um, in the past, we've gotten the little plug-ins because of the fact of our kids, they're age two and four. And as you know, they always are getting into everything, and especially when they're learning to crawl and stand up and stuff like that. If there's a cord or anything that they can touch, anything they can grab onto, they're gonna do that. So for safety reasons for them, for us, you know, and everything else, we just decided we weren't going to do that. We'd avoid that at all costs. Since our children are a little older, 
and they listen a little better and everything, I went ahead and decided that I was going to go ahead and get two mid-size warmers. One will go in our bathroom, and the other one will probably go in our daughter's room since she's the oldest, um, and the cord will be back behind her dresser, so there's no way for them to be able to reach it. Uh, so this one here is called Cosmos, and I believe this is the one that's for our bathroom. Um, it is purple in color, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go ahead and open this box here. So there are the instructions here, a little booklet on how to use it, how to work it, and everything else like that, just in case for any reason if somebody's not sure. So, and yes, this one is for our bathroom. So the mid-size warmer is right here. They have the bulb right there that you go ahead and actually place in it by yourself. The cord then comes out, of course, and you have the switch there so you can turn it on and off. And then this right here would just sit right on top. So we'll go ahead and take it out of the bag so you can see it a little better. So it goes just like that. You take a cube or two and just put it right here on the top. Plug it in, turn it on, and then it lights up. And so these little holes right here that you can maybe see from the video would actually emit the light. So if for some reason it was in a bathroom, you know, and it was dark in the middle of the night, you could also use this as a night light. Um, so there's that one. That's for our bathroom. And then we have one more, as I said, that I believe we're going to go ahead and put in my daughter's room. This one is called graphite. Um, there's no particular reason why I chose this other than I felt that if we, for whatever reason, were to move it into a different room than my daughter's room, it would fit in re almost regardless of what color scheme we had because it is a grayish black color. And, you know, we all know that black goes with everything. So, this one again, this is the top here. The light bulb in the middle. And then the cord. And so... This one has, it looks like, a little deeper of a top right here. So you'd probably be able to put a couple more cubes in there without having to worry about it spilling over. Of course, you would want to go ahead and put one full cube in um, and melt it down completely before putting another one in just to make sure that you don't have too much. And to be on the safe side, when you added additional um, scent after putting the one full cube in, I would actually recommend just putting like a half because you never know when it melts down you know, how far it's going to go and you don't want it to spill because then you waste it and it gets all down the center here. So this one here on the right, the graphite is a little bit of a deeper than the one on the left. But, I mean, you know, I haven't used these before and like I said, we've used the plug-ins. So with the mid-size warmers, you might comfortably be able to put two chunks of the bar in without having to worry about it overflowing. I don't know. But I personally just wouldn't try it the first time. And then, if you've never had Scentsy before, the bar comes in just like this. So this is a whole one. And then it has like the little cubed section in the back. So what you can do to break it apart and stuff, or what I do is you keep it closed with the lid on and then you just kind of take your thumbs on the front part and push and spread with your fingers on the back part. And that kind of breaks it open. And you can go either direction actually. You can even grab, you know, like this and pull together and pull together this way and then pull together that way and then when you open it you'll see the little lines there from where it's been cracked so then you're able to just continue to go ahead and do bending like this if you want and got to be careful because sometimes it breaks little chunks off but basically then you're just going to go ahead and put your thumb on the back side there put your hands on this side just to help hold the other stuff in that you don't want to come out and then you just push it out like that you can grab this and then this is the piece that you set right in here, if that's the scent that you happen to want to actually use at this point. People have actually went ahead and when they were done with the scent, not because the scent is no longer there, but just because they want to change a scent for whatever reason, you can warm it up, get it warm, and then pour it back in to your bar. And, you know, after it settles and stuff, just like candle wax, it's hardened again and you can reuse it again later in the future which is really kind of cool because then you're able to not only have different scents in different warmers, but you could have the same scent in every warmer and then change it all out if you wanted to change completely. Let's say you knew somebody was coming over and they didn't like the scent that you had in there, or they were maybe not able to have such a perfumey scent 
for whatever reason, it just irritated them. You could put something in that was a little mel more mellow that you knew. Um, or if somebody was coming over and you knew that they had a favorite scent or something and you happened to have it, you could put that in there. Got the 12 bars total here, eight of which I've never smelled before or anything. Tasha was great on giving me some pointers on which ones that she thought that I would like based on me telling her that I like the fruity smelling kind of scents. And then the two warmers here as well. And this whole package deal, because of partly because of the sale and also partly because I bundled with getting these two mid-size warmers and a six pack of bars was I believe like $104.95 and that included tax because I am in Idaho and that also included my shipping costs. Um, so honestly I don't think that it was really that big of a, a amount of money to spend especially considering that I get two rooms that will be filled with scents from these two warmers and these honestly will last us probably at least six to nine months. Um, so when you think about it it's really not that bad. I'm even frugal, so for me to say that, it must mean something. Anyway, um, if you have any questions about Sensi or anything else like that, I'll go ahead and have a link to Tasha's uh, Facebook fan page, and I'll also have a link to her website so you can order directly through there. I do know her website actually has her email address on it, and then her Facebook fan page, of course, you can send her a direct message, comment on her page. You know, while you're there, please go ahead and like her page and let her know that I sent you over there. Um, that would be very much appreciated. If you want to know any more about the sense that I got and what I like, please send a comment or put something on my page that you'd like to know how this one smelled or what I thought about this particular one. And I'll be sure to go ahead and test those out for you and let you know what I thought of them. That's it for me today. I do want to thank you guys for going ahead and watching this video. Please give a thumbs up, leave a comment, like my page if you haven't already. It's Stay at Home Mom Turned Work at Home Mom on Facebook. Also, I have a blog, of course, that you can check out as well, and I'll go ahead and link that in the bottom, too. So if you guys could do all that for me, that would be great, and I would definitely appreciate it. Until next time, see you later.